I'm gonna tickle you. You ready? No. Is you ready? No. Are you ready? No. What up, though? I'm Fashawn Vega, and this is Hate by Design. YouTube channel we explore what is design, who are designers, who is it for, and who needs it most. And today is Tip Minute Tuesday, the time of the week where I give you a small tip to help you design the enhancement of your life and experience. And the best part about Tip Minute Tuesdays now is that my daughter, Avi, will be joining us, giving us her perspective and little tips for life. So let's get into it. Today's topic, New Year. I've done a project this year called the One Year Suit, which is focused on goals, or goal achievement, i.e. goal tending, and what does uniform mean for us being great and the survival of black men. What we're gonna cover today is one of the tricks that I've used on how to set up your life for success, how you define it, by starting off the day with a certain structure and a way that you can kind of map out or look at your year in quarters. But it doesn't have to be the entire year. It could be a small project. If you want to achieve something in a month, we can break that down in quarters and reverse engineer. Starting early is number one on how to win and 10 to-do lists for the week for 20 great team. And the reason starting early is important is it sets the tone for being on time, for being punctual, and setting space designated for everything that you wanna do, everything that you need to do, and for the things unseen, unpredictable circumstances that may be out of your control. Starting early is a mindset and a practice that will put you ahead of your competitors, and more importantly, ahead of yourself. What does that mean? Well. Our egos, our procrastination, our laziness, our fear of greatness, our fear of ourselves, our fear of our power. Starting early puts us in a position to where time, the thing that we are not able to change but control in our own space becomes more ours. It's a reason why professionals and athletes get up super early. Some people get to work hours early and why great entrepreneurs, great business people, great innovators and visionaries start any idea or start their process, start their work early to a lot for space. So what does that mean for us? When starting your year, and deciding who you're going to design yourself to be and what life you're going to design for the upcoming year. Starting early means, for me, three months before the new year. Yeah, that's right. I started 2018, three months. October 2017, I was already mapped out for the year. Same for 20 hype team, light team, planning all type of things, wardrobe, the drone wars, starting the things for decoy, bayology, figuring out how Trisha's yoga bay platform, what life yoga might look like, legal documents, looking at trips. The reason most people don't achieve their goals in a new year's resolution is because they start at the time when they should already be in practice, where they should already have a pattern. Patterns are important because that's how we, be, we create habits. They say you have to do something seven times before it begins to become a habit. You do that thing seven times, three times. So it puts you at 21 days. So ideally, anything we wanna do, we should be doing for a month. So for me, I took that and doubled it. I say, if I wanna be doing something for an entire year, I don't need to start in December. I need to start in October. For those of you who haven't, this is what we're gonna look at. A technique we can use to kind of visualize and map our progress or reverse engineer it to achieve our success so one quick way to help you manage or structure your goals <clears throat> if you were doing it in three parts or in three months all right so now we have month one month two month three and what you would place in here things I want to achieve in week one week two week three, week four. In doing this, you create a structure that you can see visually. The goal for you may be a thousand subscribers, 1K subs in three months. What do I need to do from now, December to January, January, February, February, to March? What type of work would you have to do in this space? This can be done with anything. Homework, saving money, buying a house, buying a car, planning for a trip. Any goal can be used in this structure. It's really up to you. This is just a cool tactic 
to try to help you get some structure. Now let's go see Avi. So we went shopping with Abby and we got some stuff that she needed. And one of the things that she got is a planner. And our topic today is about starting early and getting things done and staying on task. Hi, I'm Abby. And the good way to stay motivated is to have a plan, meditate, be confident, think good about what you have done. You design your destiny. <laughs> you design your destiny. What's <laughs> one thing that you do to keep you motivated with staying positive about yourself. Meditating, mostly, or drawing, like designing. Bye. Bye. We were able to go and get Avi some gifts. We learned that we're gonna be getting some more time, so. I can do eight episodes just on that alone. Avi gave a really dope tip. Stay on schedule to stay motivated. Believe in yourself, believe in your task, believe in your, your process. Really wise words from a nine-year-old. Man. So just a short recap, we explored a really quick hack on how to prepare for the new year. Even if you're starting late, you can still start early and apply that concept to your everyday life to help design successful outcomes the way you want to determine them and a way to measure and track them. Because as we know, as Jim Quick says, you're not able to manage something if you're not able to measure it. So hopefully this helps you out. And we saw Avi, gave her a bike, went and got some shoes, and got a really powerful tip. If you like the tips from Avi, leave a yes or no right here. I'm, I'm really interested in see how you guys feel. It's looking about that time and I'd like to thank you for yours. Design is a basic human need and a human right. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter is where I rant with other designers about what's being done right and not so right. Until next time, lead strong, be now, think great, and as always, define, design, repeat. Also, follow everybody at Decoy. That's Detroit conglomerate of YouTubers. Everything Detroit by Detroiters, aka me. <laughs> Sure.